Hey, what's up guys? Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Dream Daddy, episode number seven. I'm so excited to play some more Dream Daddy. It's been like a week, and I can't wait to get back into it. Ah! All right, let's go. All right, so where were we as of last time? Uh, we had just gone out to the softball game with Bro. Not really a date, more just like a, a friendly hangout. Uh, Amanda's with us. His team had won the game, and we were off to get some pizza with the team. So let's pick up where we left off. left off. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Oh. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco filling inside? <laughs> that sounds amazing. Ah, Pizzacos. I could never forget. How did we survive college? Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. <laughs> the good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. Hmm? Hey, give me a piece of Whoa. that. Oh, 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 the dad jokes. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Mm. <laughs> Dad. A different mom walks up to us, talk, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Mm. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Oh, she's thirsty as fuck. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all the... All angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. <laughs> he looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Uh, create a diversion. Tag team with Amanda. Smoke screen Martha. Create a diversion. I pull out the first thing that comes to mind. Who watched Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers last night? What? Callum and Flint Dogbone visited a truck stop that was also a cemetery and led an exorcism of a ghost that was haunting the hot dog grill. Wow. An I nudge Amanda for support. There was also a demon haunting one of the bathroom stalls and it kept throwing poop on the wall. Pretty scary stuff. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for all that, but still, quality television. I haven't seen that. Hmm. I haven't seen that either. <laughs> wow, we have so much in common. Damn, it didn't work. <laughs> she turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So, I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Uh -huh. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady is really going for the game. Hey. <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. <laughs> Martha angrily turns her attention toward her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine, I swear, if we have to buy it. <laughs> Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big, weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy nice. guy, huh? Only, one, only on days like today, I hope. Dad. Hmm. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh, man. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. <laughs> but, Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Oh. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin on pinball? You know it. 
Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a comp. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored. But I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah. We went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. <laughs> huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God. I love Amanda. She's so great. <laughs> All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. <sighs> Janet! Hey! You stone harpy. What? <sighs> I said I have to go over there now and get pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda! Hey! Bro! What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place, finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the coach, the couch warm for me and heads home. Oh. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Oh, River's so freaking cute. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Up for some catch? This might be less catch and more you throw the ball and me running after it. But sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. What if I hit River? Ah, Craig, Craig's good. He, he won't let that happen. Uh -huh. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only one juice box in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Nice. You're telling me I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know how anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. Oh. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Ask about coaching softball. Ask about the business. Ask about the kids. That's enough for now. Um, the business? What's the business? So, you run a business now. Got it. Bro! Yep, we sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. What is athleisure? That sounds odd. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. <laughs> if you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. Oh. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Yes. Uh, let's ask about his kids. I can't believe you're a father of three. Mm. Neither can I, you know. Me, I'm an indecisive person. You switch your major mm. four times. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. Oh. I had that exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I've lived. So is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Oh. Ha! I'll admit that I was hesitant at first, but Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports. But no one was there to, to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. Oh. They're quick, and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. <laughs> they take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a bit, huh? I don't know. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Uh... I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. 
Oh. Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Hey. <laughs> My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear oh. you. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Eh, the right person will come along eventually. Ooh, score. Were those eggplants? You don't have to rush it, man. Things will fall into place for you, and someday you're going to find someone who cares about your kids just as much as they care about you. Mm. Bro, that's so sweet. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball and... Oh, it hits me right in the head. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all hmm. along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my eye. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it hey. better. You would be so lucky. <laughs> Kissing is for the week. That was planned. Oh my. That was planned. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. I still got mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Maybe they'll learn in high school. <laughs> I get up and dust myself off. River mm. yawns. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired. Mm. Huh? I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party when we went that we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Hey! <laughs> How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. <laughs> And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. <laughs> we had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. Hey. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Oh, that would suck. Man, college. Uh -huh. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Hmm. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I'd like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil. Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter Lip Sync Battles. Do the shark sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Ah. Yes. <laughs> I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Uh? Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Hey, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with all of that. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Aw, oh. oh, dad. You did this with your good art. <laughs> she pats me on the back. Mm. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Mm. Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Mm -hmm. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you're saying, you said hey. Date complete. All right. Look at all those points. Wow. That was a gold medal performance for sure. Hell yeah, S tier, baby. That's what's up. I know my boy. I know how to take him out. I guess. <laughs> nice. All right, S tier. Feels good, man. Feels good. Welcome. Got an achievement. You've got Keg that. stand champion. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, next time, we're going to be taking Brian out for a spin because I like Brian. And I would like to know how that goes down. 
Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Before you go, if you could hit the like button for me, I would really appreciate that. You don't have to, but just throwing that out there. It does help my channel grow. Love your faces, and I will see you guys with more Dream Daddy next time. Bye!